This video is going to look at the concept of the consumer surplus using a supply and demand diagram. In this diagram, we end up with an equilibrium price of P1 and an equilibrium quantity of Q1. The business receives revenue equal to the yellow shaded area. If you're not sure about why that is and you would like to understand it, there's a video on this channel called Business Revenue. The demand curve for this product tells us that if the price was higher, if it was at P2, there would still be customers who would be willing to buy this product. A much smaller number, but there would be Q2 customers willing to pay P2 for this product. They don't need to pay that price, they can pay the equilibrium price of P1. So every time they buy the product, there's an advantage to them in that they would be willing to pay more, but they don't have to. So the amount from P2 to P1 is a surplus to those consumers. The consumer surplus for those consumers is that green area there. That's the money that they would be willing to give to the businesses for this product, but they don't need to, so they get to keep it. There'd be some more customers willing to pay a slightly lower price of P3, still above the equilibrium price. And so these customers still also get to pay the equilibrium price, and there's a surplus which they receive of this green area here. And if we keep on continuing to step down the prices more and more, we get more and more of these green consumer surpluses. And if we were to take all of the surpluses for all of the consumers who are willing to pay that higher price, we end up with this green triangle here, which will just make a little bit clearer. So the total consumer surplus, the amount of revenue which consumers are willing to give to the business for these particular products, but don't have to, is equal to that green area there. A business who is able to affect the price level, such as a monopoly, may try to get this part of the consumer surplus using price discrimination. And there's a video on this channel that explains how price discrimination can be used so businesses can get more revenue and take away some of that consumer surplus.